you won't get a goddamn dollar. You'd have to come find me at my residence, okay? And welcome to Organized Chaos. In this video, my original PCH scammer just couldn't really handle any of my questions. So he ended up passing me off to a senior VP. And by the end of it, even the senior VP really couldn't even handle any of my questions and ended up breaking. And the end was amazing. It, there's no other way that I could put it. And if you like the video and you like the content, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, please share this video with any of your family and friends. That way we can get the word out and we can make more people aware of this kind of scam. So that way we can limit the number of actual victims we get. And now, on to the call. Hello, pleasant day. Now it's Sloan here at the publisher's penthouse. This is a hotline of the publisher's penthouse. How are you doing today? Uh, well, considering I just found out that I'm prob that I probably just won some money, uh, pretty good. <laughs> and you do know that this is hundred percent legitimate. Okay, so I'm speaking with Miss Davis or Mrs. Davis. Mister, I'm a man. Okay, wonderful. Sorry about that. Okay, Mr. Davis, please hold the line while I pull up your information. Okay. Okay, Mr. Davis. Yes. Yeah. It is my pleasure to announce to you that your name was selected as this month's lucky second place winner for a whopping grand prize draw of five million five hundred thousand U.S. dollars. Congratulations. Oh my God, you're serious. Yes, I have. And this is 100% legitimate, as I told you before. All calls are monitored and recorded by the IRS and the Better Business Bureau for quality and insurance purposes, okay? Okay. that That's wonderful. Okay. okay. Well, before I go any further, i got three documents here on my desk in front of me right now that I have to go through with you. Can okay, you no problem. Your P-14 claimant form has a series of questions just to verify that you are the correct person of this price, okay? Are you an American citizen by birth or by marriage? By birth. Okay, thank you for that information. And are you married, single, down? Uh, I'm married. Do you have children? Uh, yes. And do you receive Social Security benefits? Uh, no. Okay, okay. And which financial institution do you back with? Uh, Chase. And do you have a savings or a checking account there? Uh, both. And on your last bank statement, what is the balance you see there for your savings account? Uh, for the savings account, it's 45000 yeah. And on the checking account? In the checking account, it's around 4000 And do you have any IRA? Talks, any bonds, CDs, investments? Uh, yes, I do. I have a okay. 401k. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Then what is the balance? Uh, 120000 Thank you so much for verifying these information. You have successfully been verified, and you are indeed the correct person that is supposed to be receiving this prize. And now we're going to move on to your non-disclosure agreement, okay? Okay. So, your non-disclosure agreement is a legally binding contract that establishes a confidential business between two parties to do business. Okay. Signing the agreement agrees that information that may consist of your prize will not be available to any third parties. Okay. Yes, ma'am. In this case, if this agreement is being breached, you will be disqualified from your prize. So, moving on to your anti-money laundering document. This is this document is very similar to your non-disclosure agreement. This document is really to provide to your bank or your financial institution that you're receiving funds from a legal legitimate source. 
and that they are required to keep your business confidential and no one should leak your information to the public. Okay? Oh, okay. You do know that there are related fees, taxes, government taxes, IRS fees, processing fees, and also transfer fees, right? House will be taken care of 92% of your government taxes, your transfer fees, and also your processing fee. So you would have to take care of only 8%, okay? Well, can't we just take that out of my prize winnings? I mean, you oh, did no. say, you know, I am a millionaire and that should be available to me now that I am a millionaire. Okay, okay. Hey, you do know how business works, right? Well, yes, uh, I do know how business works, but I also know that we should be able to just take it out of the the prize winning. This fund is not being held at the publisher's spirit house. It's being held at the Federal Reserve Bank, okay? Okay, so what you're saying is I need the number to the Federal Reserve Bank so I can just tell them to take the fee out of the prize winnings. You can. But I should be able to. I mean, I'm a millionaire now. That should be an option. Okay, please hold the line while I transfer you over to the Vice President here, Mr. Dave Sayer. Hello, pleasant and wonderful afternoon. Do I have the pleasure of speaking with Tim? Uh, yes, you do. Uh, who's this? This is Dave Sears, Senior Executive at the Publishers Bearings House. Oh, hi, I'm Dave. I'm charge of communications, promotions, as well as head of the prize patrol team. Oh, hi, Dave. How are you? I'm fine. Now... Uh, Mr. Sloan was just letting me know that you're having an issue as it regards to the fees and taxes associated with your prize. Oh, it, now, it's not really an issue. I just want the uh, money taken out of the uh, out of the prize winnings. Well, um, normally how this procedure works is you would have to make some sort of payment, a temporary hold. That was what we would use to facilitate the ACH transfer. Okay, so normally if you were to send over a Sears check or a personal check, we would send it on over to your CPA agent. They would see that the money is coming from your account under your name, and that's the funds we will use to hold to facilitate the ACH transfer. Okay. Okay, but why why do you need to why do you need to hold the funds to be able to give me my money? I just explained. Okay, but so I give you money so you can hold on to my money, hold on to okay. my prize. I see here that you have a lot of questions, all right? I know you have your reasons to be skeptic, okay? Okay, and, and speaking with the I president, I should be able to – you should be able to have those answers for me. No, you seem, you seem like a young man that knows all the answers already, don't you? I'm, and I'm 25 years your senior. Oh, okay. Well, why haven't you retired yet? I have no reason to retire as – I mean, it, in, in if, you're, if you've got 25 and years and on me, you're – that you're what? Well into yeah, your sixties, like you should be. You seem to have all the answers already, so I don't know what it is that you're doing on this call. I Are don't. You hey, your employee airport? was the one that transferred me to you. Okay, let me tell you what's going to happen now. I have to. Okay, no, let me tell you what's going to happen because this is my money. No, Mister Mister Dave, no, you're going to listen. No, this is my no, money. No, I don't want to listen. I don't. I don't want to listen. I this don't is have to listen. My money. Okay. I am Here's a millionaire I, now, and you're going to do what I no. say. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do. No, right. Dave, you're. Listen, I'm a millionaire listen, now. Listen, I am a millionaire, listen, listen, and you are not. No, listen, you are going listen, to give me listen, my money, are Dave. You not seeing, are you not getting the perspective? Don't you understand what's happening? No, I don't, because you're stalling and not giving I me my money. Huh? Don't you know who I am? Yeah, you're some C CEO there. who should have retired, who should, CEO. who should have retired because you're old and you don't yeah. know what the hell you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, so, that's why I have a nice Range Rover parked outside. Oh, okay. Uh, so give I me. I have a lovely autobiography. Yeah, you it's don't know what you're doing. Not a lie. I have no reason to lie. You don't I know what you're doing. You're old and senile. That Range Rover <laughs> is probably a scooter. All righty, all righty. And how dare you tell a millionaire, uh, F you. Hey, hey, your pride is nothing. How dare you I tell me? How dare I you tell me? have more than that. You have more However, than that. being quite frank and honest, I have more than whatever it is that I'm offering you as a prize. Okay? So you don't even so know. How, five, how are you running dollars, a company and you have no idea have what's five, going on? Five million dollars. How are you running the company and you have no idea what's going on? You are a horrible businessman. And by the end of the year, I'll have $20 million. Okay, give me my money. Yeah. Yeah, no, you won't have anything. I am a millionaire. You, you are an idiot. Give me my money. Okay, um, I'm just going to let you know that I have to go on and make some more money. So this call is no longer relevant. Enjoy the rest of the okay, day. Okay, so and you, you and your employee and did different. say... That this it's a recorded line, right? This is a recorded all line. Right. So all of this yeah, is going to line, so the you be, to be Better Business Bureau. I have the recording. It doesn't and matter. This is the, going like to, to the Better Business email? Bureau, and they're going to hear you telling telling me off and telling me all that stuff. So your company is going Reported to – I'm going to sue you. you. You're I'm going, telling me you're a millionaire, but I've been a millionaire. You're I am going, a millionaire by luck. I'm, I'm a millionaire by skill. I am going to. Job. I do this on a daily. I am going to sue you. I'm going to take you all of your money. You can you want. You won't get a goddamn dollar. I'm going to. I have zero dollars. I have zero dollars. All of your money. I put everything else inside of a trust. I'm okay? going to get all of your yeah. money. Niggas with real money. I'm know going what to you come do. down and take a giant crap on top of your desk and shove your face <laughs> in it. Because I am going to own you and your entire company. I no, I no longer work at the public. I I no longer work at the head office. You'd have to come find me at my residence. Okay. I am in, currently in California. I'm in the Hidden Hills. Oh I don't well, that's perfect where, because uh, I'm that's Ronnie perfect because I'm in Arizona, so I can just right up the road. I can just uh, wander on down over to California and find you.